Uh, we'd like to get uh, your assessment of events in Kazakhstan and uh, how that potentially weighs on these meetings with Russian officials uh, next week. And, and more specifically, um, US officials have uh, raised kind of questions about the CSTO troops deployment there. Um, you know, what, is, what specifically is the concern about those troops going in? You know, is there, a, is there an implication that, you know, the Kazakhstan government hasn't actually invited them in or, you know, how do you see that? Mm, thanks. Um, so first, we are very concerned about the ongoing state of emergency that exists in, in Kazakhstan. Um, we've urged authorities to respond appropriately, proportionately, and in a way that upholds the, uh, the rights of, uh, of protesters. Uh, I spoke with the, the foreign minister uh, just yesterday. I reiterated our full support uh, for Kazakhstan's constitutional institutions, as well as the absolute importance of respecting human rights, media freedom, uh, including the restoration of internet service, and uh, to dealing uh, with uh, peaceful protests in a way that protects the protesters, upholds their rights, and is consistent with the, the rule of law. Uh, so there has to be a rights-respecting resolution to this crisis. Uh, and again, that includes protecting the rights of any peaceful protester. At the same time, we've made clear that we condemn uh, violence committed uh, by, uh, by anyone, um, including violence directed at the institutions of the state uh, and, uh, and government. We very much value the relationship that we have with Kazakhstan. We're watching the situation with uh, real concern. And uh, we are encouraging everyone to find a peaceful resolution uh, and constructive resolution to the situation. Um, when it comes to the CSTO, uh, we have questions about uh, the nature of the request, uh, why it came about. We're seeking to learn uh, more about it. Uh, it would seem uh, to me that uh, the um, Kazakh authorities and government certainly have uh, the capacity to deal uh, appropriately uh, with, uh, with protests, uh, to do so in a way that respects the rights of, of protesters while maintaining law and order. So it's not clear uh, why they feel the need for any uh, outside assistance. So we're trying to learn more about it. Uh, 